time no see. It's been a while since I've done a barn vlog or even just posted a video. There's not really a ton of reason for that other than I just haven't been doing much with Tipsy lately. She hasn't been ridden in about a month and that was mainly just because her feet were a little sore and I think her feet are a better spot now. But for this video, I am just going to be focusing on cleaning her disgusting saddle. It is disgusting. I went into the barn the other day and into the tack room and my saddle is covered in mold and it has been pretty humid and it is in a dark room. I want to give it a good clean, get all the mold off and also condition it as well. I haven't been riding much lately but I would like to start riding in the next week or so and I like to have some clean tack especially seeing the state of it right now. I was like ooh really should get on that so that is what I plan to do today. So here's the before of my saddle. This is the left side and as you can see it is completely gross and very neglected on my part so I'm not going to do this again and I'm actually going to keep an eye on my tack and even if I don't use it for a while I'm still going to clean it and I actually have never had my saddle mold like this before so definitely need to get on that and I'm glad I was able to squeeze some time in to clean it. But as you can see, the mold is pretty bad, especially on the inside. I do keep a cover on it. Look at how nasty my stirrup leathers are. Ugh. Disgusting. Here I just filled up a bucket of dish soap and water and then just plain water. And I'll use that for the first cleaning of my saddle. off all the mold I also rinsed it off again with just plain water I did my stirrup leathers as well now they're looking a lot better so now I'm gonna let this sit in the sun for a little bit so then it can dry off and then I'll apply some conditioner so my saddle and my bridle and my stirrup leathers are all clean I did my bridle on the side but now I'm going to use some leather new I know it's not the best but it was already wiped down twice with some antibacterial soap and water and rinsed off so I think we're okay now and then after I'm going to condition it. Here's the final product of all of the tack I cleaned. I forgot to mention that I did clean my paddock boots as well and I forgot to show them but they're nice and shiny now too. But I think my saddle turned out really nice and like I said I definitely want to not have this happen again but I'm going to try to keep an eye on my tack a bit more but I think everything turned out really beautifully. Everything is clean and shiny and now the leather is nice and soft and clean.
This lighting is not very flattering, but I'm in the tack room and I decided to put all my stuff back. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I did with everything and what it looks like now. So this is my bridal put back together. I didn't put the bit on yet because it is drying. But it's super clean and shiny. I think it accepted the leather new and the oil pretty well. Actually, I didn't use oil. I used the FX Leather Balm on this. And then here is my bit. I soaked it in a bucket with dish soap and water and just hosed it off and dried it with a towel. So here it is. And then I put a new cover on my saddle. There's also a half pad underneath of there. I didn't put my stirrups on it yet, but I did finish cleaning it and put it all back. And now I'm going to sweep and head home. If I remember to, and if I didn't already post the footage, I do have some riding footage of Tipsy and I from, I think like a month or two ago. It was our most recent ride we did, which hasn't been in a while, but I haven't actually shown the footage. Nothing too crazy, just walk, try it, but I'll add it after this video and then I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the Tell